Hey there. Hi. Wow. That's uh, I'm I'm dizzy. <laughs> My name is Andrew McCutcheon, and I am often accused of being the only member of Time and Tide, and that is absolutely not the case, as we've learned in the last few days. So I thought I've been thinking about this. I've been talking to Marcus, who you you probably know very well after watching our videos. How do we do this? How can we introduce the world to our team? So I thought, well, let's get us in our natural element, which is debriefing after a hard day at a watch fair, uh, or just debriefing daily, weekly, monthly on watches. So this is what's happening. We have, we are all locked and loaded. Uh, Marcus has uh, his Squid Game controller. <laughs> if we answer any questions wrong, it's going to be the end of us. Hey, Marcus. Hi, Squid, Squid Game Squid, controller. Squid Game controller. <laughs> right. Um, and we're going to answer the same three questions about watches and wonders 2022. The first question is favorite watch. The second question is, was there anything? Did anything funny happen? Best incident. The third question is, booth you'd most like to live in because we we spend a lot of time in these things and you know we're all going to have an answer for that. So and then lastly on these napkins because. Time and Tide is the epitome of class. We have a, que a random question about the team that Marcus yep. um, is going to deal out like a, like a Vegas dealer. We, we don't know what's coming and we've got to answer a question about the team. And Marcus, you can kind of spin the bottle and decide where we go. Um, I reckon let's get started. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 To being friends now and probably not friends after this segment. <laughs> oh, man. Exactly. In the hot seat right away. Oh, man, what's going on? Well, normally you'd recognize me for the uh, the, the Tony Stark glasses, but I'm Zach Glass, I'm your deputy editor. So I, I think I'm, I'm gonna answer this sort of with a twist in the sense of favorite watch. There's definitely a lot of watches I like, but the one that I'm most likely to sort of chase after, uh, potentially for my collection, I do have a birthday coming up in September, is the Cartier Santos Dumont um, in the pink gold case with beige lacquer. It's creamy, it's delicious, and it suits my tiny wrist, so yeah, I've, let's just say I've already messaged uh, my local Cartier boutique to see uh, what we can do, you know. Ah, oh, man, it's gonna sound like I'm giving a lot, of, a lot of love to Cartier, but you know, Ricardo and I, we were in a touch and feel session. And this is to show you guys. Not with each other. Not, not with not each with other, you. oh my God. Uh, <laughs> look, we obviously have a lot of fun, but we're journalists, we ask the hard hitting questions. And so we were looking at, uh, a variant of the, the, the Cartier tank. Uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce the, the, the French of it, but um, I asked, you know, look, this is a very, very uh, complex movement, and we just have to be certain. I said, uh, was this movement designed in-house, or did you have any partners such as uh, Concepto? And all of a sudden, as I asked the question, there's a sort of a scoff behind me. Why? Because Raphael, the watchmaker who designed the movement, was sitting right behind me. It was a very playful scoff, but it was a little embarrassing that uh, I basically said to this, father of the watch that, uh, you know, was the movement adopted. Um, wow. So, you know. <laughs> Awkward. I, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually been fine. Yeah, but you know, look, it, it, it's, it's necessary awkwardness because we, we have to know. So at least I know the answer. It was designed in-house. Uh, the Cartier Tank Chinois, I think that's how you pronounce it? Chinois. 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 Excuse me. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm very American. I don't speak French very well. Um, but yeah, so that, that was kind of my, my humorous moment. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm holding up or holing up in the, the, the Oris Boutique. That Holstein beer is, is quite tasty. Um, so yeah, I think I could have a good time in there. And also the people at Oris, the staff are, are very delightful. Rolf is the CEO, our friend Josh. They're uh, very lovely people. So I think, I think that's where I'd, I like hanging out the most. <laughs> Just let him rave, man. All right. Who has the sexiest wrist? Oh, come on, this is a gimme. Yeah, this is a gimme. We're it, all looking at Yeah, I think, I think we know. <laughs> the camera knows. Uh, Look, cheers to that. The, the, the natural semiotics of, of this man's wrist. He's got the rings, he's got the veins, he's got the, the circumference, the girth. He's got the girth. He's got the girth. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we gotta give it to Jeremy. All the reels you're seeing, or 90% of them, it's Jeremy's wrist. Uh, for so, a reason. For a reason, exactly. <laughs> Oh. oh, okay, okay. So, what are we starting with? Favorite watch? Well, I'm a simple man of simple tastes. Quite simple. <laughs> Very simple indeed. So, and you know how on a Kit Kat, it's like got just the right amount of chocolate on it. For me, I, I, I know the the, the Cartier uh, Chinoise, uh, not the open open dial one, just the plain one, either in platinum or rose gold. I'm not fussy. That is the watch where I was sort of mentally doing the calculations, trying to figure out how on earth I could actually get hold of it. Nice. That's my, that's my number one watch. 
Funniest moment, um, there's one stage, I was in the Hublot. This year Hublot released a brand new case design. It's called the uh, Hublot Square Bang. And I overheard a, an American couple like, talking about what is the origin <laughs> of the Square Bang. And uh, the woman said, explained, well, Square Bang, that's probably a uh, mystery position with the lights on, where the reluctant party uh, lies back and thinks of England. So that was probably the, the, probably the funniest moment. Um, Finally, the booth I'd most like to sleep in. I went to the Van Cleef and Arpel was one, and it's kind of it's like it's like you know, sort of taking acid and living in in Alice, Alice in Wonderland. It's like it's amazing. It's kind of it's all sort of flowers and sort of moving, but talking birds and all sorts of things. So I just love the whimsical craziness of that one. So that's the one I would like to live in the most. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And oh. okey dokey, what makes Marcus? such a genius. You know what makes Marcus <laughs> such a genius? Um, is, is, well, I, I, I'll, I'll, try, I'll try to keep this short because it, this could be a very long, long, long answer. But I would just go for his, like, his patience, you know? He's never flustered. He's never flustered. He always stays calm. I'm only going to say this one more time, sir. Calm down. I'm calm! Oh! Hey, oh, hi there. Hi. But I cannot get this watch out of my head. It's the Parmigiani Fleurio Tonda GMT. And I'll tell you why. It looks like a like Guido Torini, who was at Bulgari and was very act, act, actively involved in the watch that's changed Bulgari's watchmaking credibility, which is the Finissimo. He has moved to Parmigiani. And he told I said to him, how long did it take you to come up with this new vision where it's so much cleaner and, and more refined and simple? And he said it took him like nine days to design the whole collection, including some of the complications. So the, the really great thing about the Tonda GMT is just that it looks like a, a, a really sophisticated, simple time only watch until you activate this really nicely integrated pusher. And then suddenly the silver or white gold hour hand jumps one forward and you look underneath, there's a gold home time underneath the hour hand. And then, using the Rattrapan complication, which you activate with a gold pusher to correspond with the gold hand, it returns to, to time. And then he said, it's like when, I'm not gonna do the Italian accent, I'm just gonna stop that. But he said, it's like, it's Come just on. that that you get the golden time of returning home when you push the pusher, and I actually started ah. to tear up. But that watch is amazing. So most memorable, easy, and it was caught on camera. And I think the beauty of this is we can actually throw to it now. But I have been talking to Adrian from Bark and Jack for, uh, I don't know, I think it's like six years. I think he just started his channel. And, and I, I contacted him and said, oh, would you like to be the UK editor of Time and Tide? And he's like, oh, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm just gonna see what happens with mine. I'm like, oh, well, don't, don't forget this moment. <laughs> I think he doesn't regret his decision. Bump into him, we're having a chat. George Bamford walks by. George Bamford, we've done a watch with this guy. It's almost like we've had a baby and yet we've never cons consummated the relationship. It's very strange. But George pops by, there's just this intense, like frat boy bro down of like man hugs and awkward ass out man hugs. This, <laughs> and then of course, if I meet two people I really like and Marcus is with me, I'm like video time. Who's the lead? Anyway, Marcus, I'm not gonna talk. So Adrian, guess what? You're hosting this segment. Am I? Yeah. So we are at Watches and Wonders 2020 uh, and we're talking about 2022. <laughs> <laughs> it has a time machine. <laughs> Oh, I know what it is. So I'm obsessed with tiny houses. I follow every single tiny house Instagram account. It's because I would just go right to the top of those shipping containers and I'd live in the top one. I'd get it converted in a beautiful way and I would live there happily ever after. Whew. No, don't, you can't choose what it is. You can't choose what it is. Okay. Ooh. Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. It's meant to be random. Okay, what have we got? <clears throat> Who has the best watch? <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, as Zach reveals his watch. Well, look, I guess you've asked me this, because uh, I can't say my own. <laughs> okay, I do love Zach's 1815 in gold, and he's revealing it to me now. Look, Marcus, just spin it around. Look at this, look at this guy. Okay, okay, there we go. Just have a look at it. Bring it up to the, to the lens. Bring it in, exactly. bring it in. Yep, come closer. That's good. Uh, yeah. Out of this way. Why am I doing That's the awkward good. pose? There we go. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Small wrist unite. Tiny wrist done. <laughs> there you go. That's me done. Who's up? Uh, hey. Uh, 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 uh.
You're in. I am in. What is up? Okay. All right. What's your favorite word to the <sighs> And that's the uh, Chopard um, Tourbillon. Oh, yeah. Alpine Eagle. Eight millimeters. Such a beautiful, beautiful watch. I didn't expect it to be so thin on the wrist, such presence. The dial is just calling your name. You can't even check the time without getting distracted. And that's the one. That's the one. Call me by your name. It sounds like you're, you're in love with this thing. I am kind of in love. I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of in love with that thing. Funny moment. So, you know, I got on this trip. I didn't know I was going to be like the designated wrist model. Zoo Zoolander, his wrist does just, not turn left. It just turned into this, this machine, right? I don't know if it's the coffee in Geneva in the morning, but these veins just come out in the morning for some odd reason. And then, you know, me and Marcus over here uh, developed a little bromance <laughs> while we were arrested. So my funniest moment is we were at Vacheron Constantine. And he's behind me, he's doing his thing, and I'm staring at the camera, and I could see exactly what my wrist is doing, whatever he instructs me to do. And we're just, na next thing you know, we find our groove, and we're making all these noises. We're like, yes, <laughs> right there, more glare, more glare, yes. That's the spot. And he's behind me, he's like, come on, come on, yeah, more. And I'm like, yeah, all right. And then as we're doing, I'm like, yeah, you want more of that? And then next thing you know, <laughs> it stops. As we're taking the pictures, the Vacheron Constantin employees were behind us <laughs> laughing at us because we were having too much of a good time. So that was my funniest, memorable moment because, you know, the connection was good. Wrist, wrist rolling and everything. It was good. It was, it was, it was, it was, was pretty, pretty good. It was pretty good. good. It was unexpected, but I, I picked JLC. JJ oh, uh, It's The reason why is you, you know, I love space, space and time. Mm -hmm. You go in there and you feel like you're in another galaxy. They got this tone playing, you see the, I feel like I just, I'm gonna go sleep in a planetarium. So that's, that's what I picked. Yeah, that. Drone. Good catch. Who, <laughs> who loves, what does it say? Who what loves Marcus the most? <laughs> oh. I mean, I think I do. <laughs> I think I do. I think I'd love him too. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> hey guys, first question. Favorite watch of the fair has to be the Langanzona Odysseus yeah. and Titanium. Um, that watch is a brand taking exactly what they do and their full identity and putting it into a sports watch. I love the watch. Um, and now it's in titanium, you got the brushing, you got just a little bit of polish. Yeah, definitely my favorite. My memorable moment has to be the rated R moment we had the first day. When we all saw the uh, the constant force. Oh, just, that was just, a team bond. Yeah. I, I, I think I, I was sitting off to the side and, and they got the watch and all I heard was, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. And I'm just like, well, what, what What? the hell is going on? Did somebody turn on a porno flick? Like, what's, what's, going, what's going on here? It was just an amazing moment. I, I, I stopped what I was doing just and creeped over like, yeah, yeah, that is nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I joined in. But um, nah, that has to be, has to be my funniest moment of the fair. <sighs> this guy took Oris. Yeah. This guy took IWC. So you know where I'm gonna go? I'm gonna go to Pam. Pam kind of has those tropical jungle vibes. Panerai. Yeah. Water. You, you, you hear hear that nice background music. I would sleep like a king. <laughs> uh, in the jungle. Yeah, in the jungle. Just, and, but I, I'm in the jungle, but I don't have to worry about jungle animals. Exactly. <laughs> it's the best of both worlds. Um, just an amazing booth. Yeah, definitely super nice. That's great, cool. Yeah. Here it comes. Here comes the napkin of glory. Okay, napkin of glory. What a bit of that. Can you read? Who worked the hardest? Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, that is such a hard question. I think I'm gonna go right back to the guy behind the camera. That's, that's actually not a hard question. It's actually the easiest question I've ever been asked. Um, you guys see the results of what he does, but oh my God. to actually see this guy in work 
and just putting together. <laughs> 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 That's beautiful. Love you, buddy. That's an amazing I mean, moment. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, before we oh, complete, Marcus, it's you, baby. Oh, really? Yeah, man. You're in. You're in. Here we go. <clears throat> I've had my eye on a Zenith for a long time. And uh, I saw the new boutique edition. And you know what? It's pretty special. So I think that's gone to the top of my list. For what I'm interested in, I like. I shoot a lot of watches. I see a lot of watches. I like the watches that I think that one day I could get, and that's a pretty good one. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty that's good. Pretty hey, pretty that good. that watch is pretty good. Yeah. So that's uh, that's the one for me. As far as where I would uh, hang out and sleep, uh, Jeremy he beat me to the call. It's it's JLC for sure, man. First of all, when we were done with JLC, this guy was on the floor. I think for like 20 minutes with his camera staring into the planetarium. Yeah. You guys should get a bunk bed. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. We were shooting. We were shooting at Oris yesterday. Oh, Oris. Dude, man, there was a connection. If there was such a connection, and I just started laughing because he was caressing the strap, and my, I was, we were in sync. He was just doing this, and I'm going, mm, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Who would? cry the most if they lost a watch. <sighs> Zach. Hundred <laughs> percent Zach. Such I an think easy, he would such an easy Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. But he would you know what? Yeah, he would be crying into his beer. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. drink it. Yeah, yeah, and then he'd drink it and then we'd feel a little bit better. And, cry again into his beer. and then cry back into the beer again. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> Arrivederci. I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys, keep on watching. From bad Italian to bad French, bonsoir. Bye guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Bye!